Good afternoon. My name is Matthew Stones. I work for Axel Technologies and today I'm making a short video to talk about the Model 85 terminal and specifically how it connects wirelessly over Wi-Fi. So the Model 85 terminal, it's a more industrial type product, has a metal case and an internal power supply. It has two USB ports on the side, a Wi-Fi connector here for the aerial, Ethernet port, parallel port, two serial ports and we provide dongles to convert to DB9 and DB25 so to make the pin out the same as the COM port of a PC for example PS2 ports, video and power. Inside one circuit board, power supply, a separate Wi-Fi module which can be installed as an after-sales add-on a lead to connect to the aerial and the aerial which will screw into the back. Okay, on the initial power on, the terminal will boot up and enter a configuration wizard. Okay, right, now I'll quickly run through the settings. So the keyboard, we will select English. The terminal name by default is Axel, followed by the MAC address, so we know it's unique, but you can overwrite that. Remote control, that is the embedded VNC server for remote control. The resolution, we interrogate the monitor and use the default resolution. You can, of course, overwrite that if you wanted to. Color depth, 16 bit per pixel is the default. You can increase that to 32. Session type will be Microsoft TSE, connecting to a terminal server, Windows 2012. The active interface, so here we can choose whether to connect via Ethernet or over Wi-Fi. I've selected Wi-Fi. It prompts to press F2 to list access points. I will choose Axel and we're prompted to enter the passphrase. Enable DHCP, yes, we'll leave that as it is. Server name, IP address. No printers connected currently, no memory sticks connected. A brief resume of what we have, and the terminal will reboot and connect over Wi Fi to the server. And there we are connected to Windows 2012 server. Once connected, there are two semi-diagnostic things you can do. One is if you press Control, Alt, Shift, I, you pop up a window. Now this window tells you exactly the RDP sessions which were negotiated. And the interesting thing, or new thing, about Windows 2012 is that NLA is negotiated by default. Older firmware versions don't support that, so you may well need to update your firmware when connecting to Windows 2012. The other thing, which is probably more relevant in most cases, would be if you draw the cursor to the bottom of the screen, the axle taskbar, will auto show itself and there's a Wi-Fi icon there and if you click on there that will give you the status of the Wi-Fi connection. So we can see the signal power 97% here. So I hope you found that interesting. If you have any questions or would like to borrow an evaluation terminal then please get in touch via our website which is www.axel.com 
Uh, I'll also leave our details in the comments part of the YouTube video. Thank you very much. Bye for now.